Hello everyone, welcome to another video of TT Passion. My name is Winston and today I'm going to share with you how to boost the hurricane tree. Okay, so the one that I'm going to boost here in this video is the national player version for Fan Chen Tong. Uh, however, the same method can be used to boost other hurricane tree rubber, be it the, com uh, the standard commercial version, the provincial version or a commercial national version. Okay, so not necessarily this method will only work for the player's version, it will work for all other Hurricane 3 that you purchase. So without further ado, let's go straight into how to boost this Hurricane 3 over here. For the boosting of the Hurricane 3 National Player version for Fan Chen Tong, we will need a few items over here. So the first thing that I have here is the Kailin brand booster oil. Okay, basically you can use any booster oil that you may have but the one I prefer is the Kylin brand because uh, from my understanding this is one of the better booster oil available in the market today. The other item that you will need is a glue that you will usually use to glue the rubber to your blade. So I'm going to show you my method of how to boost the Hurricane 3 national player version for Fan Zhen Tong right now. So first of all, uh, let's remove the rubber from the packaging Okay, so this packaging is very nice I'm going to keep it as a souvenir I'm not sure if any of you have the habit of keeping the packaging that your, uh, that the, for the rubbers you use Okay, so I certainly keep all the packaging that I have for all the different rubbers Okay, so for this uh, national player version is already pre-boosted but it's always good to boost again with the booster oil to improve the effect of the rubber okay so over here you can see that this is glossy that means it has already been pre-boosted and what we are going to do now is we will go ahead and apply a layer of the uh, normal glue that we have okay Okay, first let's apply a layer of the glue. Okay. So I will usually apply it in one direction so that the glue is is actually spread more uniformly and some things to make sure is that you cover every corner of the rubber okay, that's important so that you will not miss out any spot okay so the other side is all you need to do is just turn the rubber over and you can actually also spread the glue to this side of the rubber there are some players that uh, prefer to go straight to boosting the rubber without applying this layer of glue first uh, for me my preference is to put a layer of glue first so that it actually helps to absorb the booster oil better when you start apply applying the booster oil Okay, so we are done with applying the first layer of glue over here and what we will basically need to do is just be patient and wait for the glue to dry up. Okay, once the glue is fully dry up, we can then start to apply the booster oil. Okay, so it looks like the glue has already dried and how do you actually know that? Basically, when you first spread the glue, right, it's actually white in color. So right now, what you can observe is that it's already transparent. Uh, the glue has definitely already dried up fully. And what's next is that we can start to apply our booster. Okay, so this Kylin booster is the one that I'm going to use. And let's open it up. Okay, so a few things to note. Uh, because it's oil right, uh, on the brush definitely there will be a lot of oil so just take note, just 
do uh, clean the brush a little bit over here drip off some of the excess oil before you actually start spreading if not you might have too much oil on your sponge okay so now once we do that we can start spreading the oil similarly i'm going to spread it in one direction okay so you can turn the brush the other side so that you fully utilize all the oil that is already on the brush okay so you do not really need a lot of oil for each layer uh, for the boosting of this rubber we are going to do three layers the first layer that we are applying over here we will need to leave it to dry uh, for up to 12 hours uh, I would do 12 hours for the first layer of waiting for it to be fully absorbed into the sponge before we actually apply the second layer okay so now it's only the first layer uh, and as you watch this video we will be applying the other two layers okay so in total there will be three layers so first layer 12 hours we are done with the first layer over here we are going to leave it to dry for 12 hours and we will come back again at 12 hours to apply the second layer so some of the things to note if it's your first time boosting a rubber uh, with a booster oil what will happen to your rubber is that after 12 hours okay or even lesser definitely you will start to see that your rubber starts to curl up so now it's flat you will start to curl up okay and that is basically normal because the uh, the sponge is absorbing the oil and it causes the sponge to expand so once it's expand your rubber will actually start to curl up so don't worry like you are doing it wrong or you are spoiling your rubber no that's not the case because when you boost the rubber that is supposed to happen so now uh, let's wait for 12 hours we will come back again to apply the second layer once the 12 hours is up okay so the 12 hours is up we are going to start and we'll apply the second layer of booster okay so just to take note remember earlier on when we spread the booster okay uh, there will be times that some of the booster oil will get to the surface that you are using okay so just take note it is oil so it will not go off unless you wipe it away so what i am going to do is i will have a alcohol wipe over here that i'm going to use to just uh, wipe and clean my surface to ensure that the oil is gone okay because i i wouldn't want to uh, spoil any of my rubber when I'm going to glue or when I'm going to boost uh, in future so make sure the surface is clean so I'm going to dry it with a tissue just to make sure it's, it's dry nicely as well before I start to apply the second layer of booster okay so nice okay nice and dry now so after 12 hours, the rubber will actually curl up. Uh, let me tilt it at the angle where you can see that it's actually curled. Okay, so it's already uh, curled. So now we are going to apply the second layer of booster. Okay, so if you think that 12 hours is long, let me share with you for the second layer here. We are going to do it. Uh, let the booster oil rest for 24 hours okay sounds a little bit crazy 24 hours okay but if you really want the uh, sponge to absorb the goodness of all the booster oil uh, definitely 24 hours is worth the wait okay so that you can fully absorb the oil uh, into the sponge okay so same thing drip off the excess oil and you can now start to apply okay so now since that is curled up it's easier if you hold it and start applying the booster oil okay so same thing apply it in one direction okay 
uh, make sure you spread it evenly and uh, there isn't any air bubbles because once you have air bubble, it's going to cause you problem when you are trying to glue it onto your plate later on. Okay, so now I turn uh, my brush so that I can use the excess oil on the other side of the brush. And as usual, make sure you cover every corner of the rubber. Okay. Looks like we are we are good. Okay, so second layer of poster oil applied. Let's put it down onto the surface again. Let it rest for another twenty four hours. Uh, we will come back again on the twenty four hours mark and apply the last surface. Okay, the good news is the last surface is just twelve. Uh, going to let it rest for twelve hours. So uh, let's wait for. 24 hours and we will be back again. Okay, so now is the uh, 24 hours we have applied the second booster. Uh, in fact, the rubber has curled a lot more. So if you leave it for 24 hours, you can really see the rubber curling up a lot. So let me tweak it to the angle. Okay, so you can see there is like almost like a semi-circle kind of curl now okay so we are going to continue and apply the last layer here uh, same thing remember to always drip off the excess okay and the last layer here we are just looking to let the booster sit in for about 12 hours and that will be good enough and it should actually allow your rubber to fully absorb all the three layers of booster you have applied so far okay so remember the same techniques will apply okay just make sure you cover all the spots all the corner okay basically three layers of booster is uh, good enough for boosting this hurricane tree okay let me turn it over then we can apply the other side of the rubber okay by the end of uh, the 12 hours for this last layer you should see that your rubber will curl even more okay uh, and that might be challenging when you are trying to glue the rubber but no worries uh, I will share with you how to do that how to glue the rubber in another video uh, do check out how to glue rubber uh, videos on my channel as well so you can actually see how to glue a boosted rubber onto your blade okay because it will be uh, curl up quite a lot so it's if you have not done it before it's good to take a look at one of these video on how to do it okay so another 12 hours and we are done with boosting the rubber so once uh, the 12 hours ends it's good to actually use this rubber to glue on any of your blade but just uh, take note one last step that you need to do to complete the boosting before you actually glue onto the blade is of course to apply your rubber glue again before gluing onto your blade okay basically now there's only oil on the surface so if you need to glue it onto your blade please remember to apply one layer of the glue after the booster has dried up over the 12 hours then you can start to glue it onto any bed that you are using okay so 12 hours is up let us take a look at the rubber again after our last layer of booster has dried up so it is in a u shape okay so it has curled up really a lot this time round and let's take a look at the sponge now you can really see the word guo in chinese which is national and 2.10 is the thickness of the rubber here with 
42 degree hardness. And moving upwards, you can see that over here, uh, these Chinese words here are actually Fan Zhen Tong, which is the name of the player. So this rubber is the Hurricane 3 national version made for Fan Zhen Tong. So now it has boost, it is boosted and it's very curled up. Uh, if you have not tried applying a boosted rubber before, this might be tricky for you. So just take note, before you stick it onto the blade, of course you need to apply a layer of the glue first. In my next video, I will be sharing with you how to glue this boosted hurricane tree onto a golden Viscaria. So if you like my video, remember to hit like, share and subscribe to my channel so that you will not miss any of the new videos that I will be sharing. So stay tuned, catch the next video whereby I will show you how do I actually glue this boosted rubber onto a golden biscaria. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.